Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. On the night of November 22, 1917, a meeting took place at the Windsor Hotel in Montreal. According to the minutes of the meeting, handwritten, of course, in the more formal English of the day, the meeting was called, quote, to ascertain if some steps could be taken to perpetuate the game of hockey, close quote. After discussion among the five men in attendance, Frank Calder, Tom Gorman, George Kendall, Sam Lichtenhain, and Michael Quinn, the minutes tell us, again, quote, the motion was carried. It took four more days of discussion and debate before the National Hockey League formally came into being on November 26, 1917. The perpetuation of the game of hockey has been in progress ever since, and I believe I speak on behalf of hockey fans everywhere when I thank those gentlemen for carrying the motion forward. The men who met at the Windsor Hotel could not possibly have imagined that a day would come when the league's regular season and playoffs would be attended by more than 23 million fans in 30 markets, soon to be 31. Or the day would come when the puck could emit an infrared signal to 14 cameras in various reaches of an arena so computers could calculate how quickly it was moving as we are demonstrating currently at this World Cup. Or that the day would come when our players' skating speed and distance traveled would be measured by tracking devices in their sweaters. Or that the day would come when stories about our players and our games would be available in eight different languages on NHL.com for our fans throughout the world. Or that the day would come when the World Cup of Hockey 2016 games would reach viewers in 200 countries. But that is where the perpetuation of the game has brought us to this historic moment when we anticipate the NHL's 100th birthday in 2017. As we approach that milestone, it's only appropriate to reflect on the great players that have thrilled the best fans in sport and the remarkable moments they have created all of the drama, the suspense, the excitement, and memories that they have provided. It is appropriate to celebrate the state of our league today. Our players are more skilled than ever. Our league's competitive balance has never been more intense. Our teams and our ownership have never been stronger. Our fans have never been more passionate or more numerous. Through such initiatives as Hockey Fights Cancer, Hockey is for Everyone, and NHL Green, our commitment to our communities and the world at large has never been broader or deeper. And we've honored hockey's roots by playing outdoors to the delight of more than a million fans who have attended those games. Think about it. One memorable Winter Classic Day, January 1, 2014, over 105,000 fans, 105,000 filled snowy Michigan Stadium to watch the Maple Leafs beat the Red Wings 3-2 in a shootout. And that is only one of the countless memories that helped define the NHL over 100 years. At the same time, it's appropriate for us to anticipate the incredibly bright future that lies ahead. Last June in Buffalo, I stood on a stage at our draft and welcomed all of the first round picks to the NHL as I usually do. But this draft was a bit evolutionary. In addition to the 12 first round picks from every corner of Canada, no news there, a record 12 of the young men I greeted were from the United States. The first overall pick, Austin Matthews, is from Scottsdale, Arizona. The 16th overall pick, Jacob Chikrin is from Boca Raton, Florida. And there were other first rounders from Finland and Sweden and Russia. At nearly 100, we have never been stronger, better, younger, have never been faster, and have never had a brighter, more diverse future. The constant through the decades of good times and bad, through eras of peace and prosperity, 
through periods of conflict and hardship through all the generations since 1917 is that the great game of hockey, NHL hockey, has grown and strengthened and represents a truly global presence. So, to celebrate, we're planning a great party in the year ahead, and we invite everyone to join us. The NHL Centennial will be, in the words of our founders, the perpetuation of our game as it heads for incredible new heights. Let's take a look at what's in store. Through the years, more than 56,000 NHL regular season and playoff games have been played and as we enter the 2016-17 season, exactly 7,435 players have earned the privilege of playing an NHL game. While our centennial celebration will spotlight our greatest players and most memorable moments, we congratulate and thank all the players who have set the foundation of what we are today. We do so mindful of the fact that behind virtually every one of these players resides a lifetime of tradition, a community of believers, and a devoted hockey family. Fathers and mothers who sacrificed mightily, who sold their wedding rings or mortgaged their homes to afford ice time and equipment for their kids. Big brothers and sisters who laced up their younger siblings' skates for them. Aunts, uncles, and neighbors who drove through snowy, frozen winters to get the kids to a tournament at a faraway rink, parents and grandparents who flooded their backyards to create neighborhood versions of the Montreal Forum, Maple Leaf Gardens, Boston Garden, or Madison Square Garden. In those backyard rinks, grand dreams took flight, and some flew so high that today statues honor their greatness. Together, the hockey family celebrates wins and offers words of encouragement after losses. The hockey families make these through sacrifices in good times and tough times for young people whose love of the game enriches their lives and teaches them valuable life lessons. Through all the years, hockey has elevated us. It has provided hope, inspiration, and unforgettable memories that bring us together. And of course, the roots of this family tree run deep and true right here in Canada. In 2010, the Wall Street Journal interviewed Brendan Shanahan for a story examining Canadians' love of hockey. Brendan said that as a kid, it was hockey, and in particular, watching Hockey Night in Canada every Saturday with his parents and brothers that brought the family together. Brendan said, you remember the games less and the family ritual even more. It was true when Brendan was growing up in the pre-internet era, and it's even still true today. Of those 7,435 7, players I mentioned earlier, there were countless greats. However, one player in particular truly was transformational, a player who made the impossible commonplace on the ice and who, off the ice, transcended hockey and transcended sport. While the record books can measure Wayne Gretzky's statistical contributions, no NHL player dominates the record book the way Wayne dominates ours, but there is simply no way to measure his intangible contribution to our league and our sport. His creativity and skill change the way our game is played, his arrival in Edmonton changed the course of the Oilers' future. His arrival in California changed our league. He made it cool to play hockey in warmer climates. His connection with fans around the world is legendary. His famous number 99 was retired by our league for reasons too numerous to count. And it all started for Wayne Gretzky on that backyard rink that Walter Gretzky flooded. When there were practices or games away from the backyard, Phyllis and Walter Gretzky did all the driving and all the other sacrificing I talked about. Their influence on Wayne was as boundless as Wayne's influence on our sport. Wayne still carries their lessons with him today and has passed them along to our greater hockey family. 
Wayne has always been an unofficial ambassador for our game. Today, it is a true pleasure and honor for me to welcome Wayne Gretzky as the official ambassador of our centennial celebration. 